Hello YouTube, welcome to a new video. So today for day six of the twelve days of Christmas we'll be doing a review on Chick Hicks with headset. And I poll I apologize in advance if this review's a bit bad because I'm I'm quite sick at the moment, but I still want to get this out because I didn't want to miss a day of the twelve days of Christmas. But yeah. So let's get into the review. So Chick Hicks was he was the main antagonist in Cars One. And he on King Cut it was voiced by Michael Keaton and in Cars Three he he was a he was like a supporting antagonist, I guess, and he was voiced by Bob Peterson, the voice of also the voice of Doctor Damage. But Doctor Damage was an additional voice. Um but let's, let's take a look he's been released a few times as a as a single two thousand seventeen man in China. A single 2018 made in Thailand, and let's get let's have a look at. It. And he's been released in some multi packs, like in a two pack with Natalie Sir, and been released in a five pack with Taco, Fabulous Line between Aaron Clocker and Jackson Storm, and a few other multi packs. But <coughs> excuse me, I just burped accidentally. Sorry, but let's have a look at him. So he's got his mustache with his. Smug Grin, who's probably just done something bad. Yellow Black Headset, RSN Racing Sports Network logo. The microphone there. 86, RSN Racing Sports Network. Chick Hicks 86, he's got his own Chick Hicks branded tyres with yellow rims. Foreman Forever Piston Cup Champion. Um... Is it RSN eighty six, Chick Hicks RSN Racing Sports Network, and he doesn't have the stickers on his window bars anymore, unlike the Cars One version. Got a heap of sponsors like Team Chick, Revolting Sludgy, Gasprin, or all that. Sludgy and Team Chick didn't actually appear in the movie. Well, Team Chick kind of, I guess, but. It was the HDB pit crew. And this side's the same as this side. He's got all the boring legal crap under here. And let's compare them to Cars 1 Chick Hicks. I don't know if I did this side of the comparison, so I'll just do it again. Let's compare them to Bruiser Bukowski, the Cars 1. Why don't you kick this from Cars 1, the only HTB pit crew member that I own currently? And I apologise for my Cars 1 chick because it's very chipped up because I, I got, it was one of my first die casts, I got it back in 2008. I played with it a lot. I used to play with my cars when I was younger, and I played with it a lot. So yeah. Oops, I'm... Ah, oh, my brain's all over the place today, because I'm sick and I have to take medicine and drink soup and all that. And I need to get my review and yeah, my head's all over the place. So I'm sorry about that, everyone. And why not let's compare him to that least soon, who he was released in a two pack with, and that's how I got both of them loose. And Chick Hicks was one of the first diecasts to be released for the Cars 3 mainline on May 1st. Natalie Cern was released in a two pack, uh, a single as well, on the same day in KSA, I believe it was. Yeah, KSA. And Chick Hicks was only released in a two pack. Natalie was released in a two pack. Two pack and a single, and Chick Hicks was just released in a two pack. But then they gave him a single release not too long later. But yeah, that's it for the review. I apologize if it was short. Like I said, I am quite sick, but so I wanted to get this over and done with. But please remember to like, subscribe, comment, favorite, share, and let's hit the video, and I'll see you all in the next video.